Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome into day six now of the 31 Days to Safer Pilot Challenge. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about loss communication procedures. Imagine you could be on a VFR flight plan or a VFR flight and actually lose radio communications flying into a controlled airport. Or this applies even to an IFR flight plan if you were to lose radio communications. What would you do in that situation? Could you interpret the light gun signals? What would you know to squawk? How would you handle that situation? Uh, that and more we're going to cover in this video. So what if you lost your radios? Well, and two, I'm talking about, let's say in a controlled environment where the airport you're going back to, you've got to communicate to somebody at. Well, the most important thing is what to squawk. In our case, we're going to squawk 7600 to let everyone know that we have actually lost radio communications. The next thing in the situation you're going to look for is this right here, um, and that is light gun signals. This picture is actually taken um, gosh, less than a week ago, I do a thing called the Future Pilot Flight Academy um, for kids uh, local in the area here. And we took them up to the air traffic control tower uh, to visit with the guys. And here's a picture of them showing us their, uh, their light gun. Previously, uh, in the good old days, they used to come down from the roofs. And now they're, they're so uh, high tech, I guess, they're all uh, handheld. So pretty neat. Um, but what you're going to look for is light gun signals from the control tower. And here is a great cheat sheet of that on what everything means. If you see a steady green light on the ground clear for takeoff, in flight, clear to land. A flashing green light on the ground is clear to taxi, in flight is return to land. A steady red on the ground, stop. Uh, in flight, give way to other aircraft, flashing red. Taxi clear of runway or in flight airport unsafe, do not land. Flashing whites return to your starting point that only applies on the ground and alternating red and green is exercise extreme caution. Um, do I expect you to commit these to memory? And I'll be honest with you, I do not. Do I expect you, however, to have this on a kneeboard or on some quick reference sheet um, possibly uh, you know, kept in your flight bag or somewhere where you could easily access it if you had a problem. You don't have to memorize it, but have the tools ready and available. This graphic is actually uh, in my book, Pass Your Private Pilot Checkride 2.0, the second edition. I think it's in both editions. Um, I'll make this available to you guys. Previously, the only way to get it would be to uh, obviously buy a copy of the book. Underneath this video, there's gonna be a link that says uh, download the ATC light gun signals uh, cheat sheet or whatever we'll call it. Um, and you can click that, it'll open up and you can print out your copy so you have it. Um, just want to make that available to you guys and just keep it in your flight bag, tape it to your kneeboard, whatever you have to do. Um, so the guys, that concludes day six. Again, leave me your comments below. What are your uh, uh, encounters? Have you ever had a lost communications problem? What caused it and what did you do in that situation? Love to hear down below uh, what you're doing to make this easy to uh, study as well. So leave me a comment and most importantly guys, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Talk to you tomorrow, guys. See ya.